Hi everybody, my name is Camilo Petoshnia Coxman. I'm an Associate Lecturer of Entrepreneurship and Innovation at the ANU. G'day, my name is Jeremy Smith. I'm a Lecturer in Humanitarian Engineering here at the ANU. We're going to invite you to be involved with coming up with ideas to see how you can improve quality of life through humanitarian engineering and entrepreneurship. Now, this video will help you to prepare your video pitch. It will provide a series of practical exercises. You can pause it at any time to complete those exercises and then come back. And at the end of the video, you'll find some links to useful resources to help you with your idea. So we mentioned quality of life. So what do we mean by that? Quality of life can indicate how healthy, how happy, um, how prosperous we are. So it's do we have a reliable source of water? Do we have a reliable source of healthy food? Do we have access to healthcare? Do we have access to education? Do we have good shelter? Do we have good buildings, good roads? Do we have a reliable source of electricity? Do we have good access to the internet? All of these are contributing into improving our quality of life during the 21st century. Unfortunately, there's many people and many communities around the world who don't have reliable access to these kinds of things that we take for granted. Many of these are captured through what are called the Sustainable Development Goals. These were established by the United Nations and hundreds of countries around the world in 2015. And they seek to alleviate poverty around the world by 2030. These include access to clean drinking water, sustainable livelihoods, access to renewable energy, access to farming, access to healthcare and access to education. There's other factors as well and other challenges and frameworks that it might have a more of an engineering or a technology focus. So in the US, the National Academy of Engineering, one of their peak engineering groups, came up with their 14 grand challenges for engineering for the 21st century. These are really challenging topics that engineers and technologists will have to try and grapple with for the 21st century to make sure we keep improving our quality of life. In engineering, engineers who focus on these we call humanitarian engineers. These are engineers who use their engineering skills, whether it's electrical, mechanical, civil, but focus on improving human well-being and quality of life first and foremost. Their starting point is how can our engineering, how can our technology improve the everyday quality of life of people around the world. So engineering won't be enough to achieve these sustainable development goals. We really want to be thinking about solutions that are environmentally, socially and economically sustainable. And one way to achieve economic sustainability is through entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurship is about much more than just creating businesses. It's about seeing problems in your immediate community and taking action to solve them. And those solutions should be creating value, not just for people, but also for organizations, for industries and for society as a whole. To achieve these ambitious solutions, we might need to use resources that we don't have control of. In order to get access to those resources, entrepreneurs often prepare a pitch. So this video will help you to prepare that pitch. Now, a good pitch covers three things. The first thing is to have a very clear goal. The second thing is to have a good idea. And the last thing is to have some measurable benefits. So the first step in preparing your pitch is to understand your goal. So in this case, as we've said, the Sustainable Development Goals is a good starting point here. So what you might do is understand those, look through those, see which ones you're particularly interested in about. Where we suggest you go from there is to then look at which of those haven't been achieved in your communities. Now we've used the word communities quite a lot, so what do we mean by this? You're a member of lots of communities. Your school community, your community about your family, your town, your region, your area, even your sporting club or some societies that are involved with. So look around those communities and see which of the sustainable development goals that you're interested in haven't been achieved and maybe why you think they haven't been achieved. And the last step in defining your goal is to go out and speak to some of the people in your communities to see how these issues are affecting them. It might also be useful to think about how many people are affected by the same issue. Is it 10 people? Is it 100? Or is it a million? Are there other communities that might be affected in similar ways? This will help you to better understand your goals. The second step in coming up with your pitch is to come up with an idea. And this is where we want you to be really creative. A good starting point for that is looking around at how are people currently addressing these issues or these challenges. Do they have an existing solution or an existing piece of technology that maybe isn't very effective or costs too much or is inaccessible to certain people? So that can be a good starting point. The second place to, to look is to what are some other ideas or some other technologies from outside your community or from different locations that maybe you could apply or adapt into your community, into that particular location to try and address those needs. Finally, combine the information you found from those two steps and come up with a new idea that could achieve your goal. And this is where you should really be creative. Can you think of new materials, new designs, new pieces of technology, 
ideas that haven't been thought before. Bring in that creativity and see how you can come up with a really good new idea. For the third and final part of your pitch, you want to talk about the benefits that your idea is going to be delivering. The first step, you'll need to identify which resources you'll need to make your idea a reality. Now resources can be different things. They can be skills, they can be experience that someone has, they could be materials that you use to build something, they could be the tools that you use to transform those materials, but they can also be relationships or networks or groups of people that you can engage with. The second step is to identify who in your community might have access to those resources. They might be other people, it might be local government, it might be an educational institution, it might be a small business, a larger business, or, or other organizations that are involved in supporting your community. And for the final step, you want to think about the benefits that your idea is going to deliver both to the members of your community and to the people who might have those resources that you need to make it a reality. Is it going to make their life easier? Is it going to make them healthier? Is it going to make them happier? Is it going to make them more prosperous? And how else might it help them to achieve the sustainable development goals? So if you follow these steps, you should end up with a really compelling three minute video. We look forward to seeing your videos in the competition and hopefully uh, you taking forward these ideas and changing the world. Good luck with your videos and your pictures and look forward to seeing you on the ANU campus someday.